Well, hello, it's another episode of Your Daily Word, and it's Pastor William. Today, we continue our studies of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah in the Old Testament, we are in chapter 4, verse 10 to 13. And today's episode is titled, When Strength is Failing. How do you deal with having too much to do, discouragement, and death threats at the same time? Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 10 to 13. The Bible says, Then Judah said, The strength of the laborers is failing, and there is so much rubbish that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversaries said, They will never know nor see anything till we come into their midst and kill them and cause the work to cease. So it was. When the Jews who dwelt near them came and they told us ten times that from whatever place you turn, they will be upon us. Therefore, I positioned men behind the lower parts of the wall at the openings and I set the people according to their families with their swords, their spears and their bows and I looked and arose and said to the nobles, to the leaders, and to the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. And we are blessed by reading, studying, memorizing, and especially doing what God says. Amen. Now, we read previously that the people had a mind to work, but now their strength is failing because they, because of the amount of rubbish that remains. It was overwhelming. The enemies have moved from ignoring to laughing to anger, and now they have graduated to wanting to kill the workers. Friends, leadership is there to take responsibility. So although Nehemiah had set security men to watch over the workers night and day, it's now time to review that strategy and tighten the security. In chapter 4 verse 9, we are not told the security men had weapons, but now from verse 10, They are armed to the teeth. The lesson here is that never show your enemies all you've got to fight them. It is better to surprise your enemies by revealing your strength in stages. Verse 13 says that therefore I position men behind the lower parts of the wall at the openings and I set the people according to their families with their swords their spears, and their bows. This is the benefit of surveying the broken walls at night. It was a kind of SWOT analysis. Nehemiah knew the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and he had a clear understanding of the times and knew what they ought to do. He positioned men behind the lowest parts of the wall, kind of like making sure that the weakest part of the project is covered and secured. He said at the openings, and then he set the people according to their families with their weapons. Do you know the strength, weaknesses, opportunities of your family, ministry, or business? Do you have a clear understanding? of the times to know when to minimize your weakness and to take full advantage of the opportunities in every situation? Proverbs 24 verse 10 says, If you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. When the strength of the workers was failing, Nehemiah did not rebuke them for being weak and fearful. No. He encouraged them to look up to God. He reminded them to remember why they were building. He said, it's for your brethren, your sons, 
your daughters, your houses. Friends, never ever lose sight of your why. Sila on these words and may the Lord bless and enlighten you as you do. Have a glorious day.